Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 5 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? Let's start a new chapter today. Chapter 8 metric measures. So this chapter is about measurements. What do you mean by measurements? Why do we need measurements? You might not have imagined how many times we come across some kind of measurement in our day-to-day -day life. For example, you feel thirsty. What would you do? You'd go and drink one glass of water. You're using a measurement there. Suppose you're going to the grocery store and you want to buy some rice. How would you ask the shopkeeper? How would you buy it? You would say you need these many kilograms of rice. For example, you need 2 kilograms of rice or 5 kilograms of rice. There you are using a measurement. Suppose you are going to a friend's house and someone is asking how far away that house is. And you might say it is 1 kilometer from here or 2 kilometers from here. There you are using a measurement. And if you are not feeling well, you might go to the doctor and the doctor may prescribe you to take 5 ml of this medicine or 10 ml of this medicine. Even there, you are using a measurement. So think about how many times we may come across some kind of measurement in our daily life. And this is why we need to learn more about measurements. When you talk about a measurement, we may be referring to attributes such as length, weight and capacity. So what do you mean by length? How long an object is from end to end or it can also be the measurement of the distance between two points or objects. And what do you mean by weight? Weight is a measure of how heavy an object is. And what about capacity? Capacity refers to how much a container can hold. So how do we measure this length, weight and capacity? See, in earlier days, people would use different non-standard methods for taking measurements. For example, to measure length, they would use a hand span, a foot span, a cubit, and so on. What do you mean by hand span? It is the distance from the tip of your thumb and the tip of your small finger when your palm is spread out. And the cubit is the distance from the tip of your middle finger and the elbow. And the foot span is the length between the tip of your toe and the back of your heel. So every body is different and the size differs in each person. Does my palm and your palm looks the same? No, it differs in size and shape. So it's not a good idea to use these kind of non-standard units of measurement. Thus came into existence the different systems of measurements. Now different nations may use different systems of measurements, but here in India, we are following the metric system of measurement. So the metric system of measurement uses some standard units for measuring length, weight and capacity. And the standard units that are used in the metric system of measurement are also known as the metric units of measurement. So how do you measure length? So you can measure smaller lengths using a tape, a measuring tape or a ruler. And you use units such as the millimeter, centimeter or meter. But for longer lengths, like the distance between two places, you may use units such as the kilometer. But we say the standard unit of length is meter, which can be represented with small letter m. Now what about weight? Weight is usually measured in units such as the grams, milligrams, kilograms and so on. But the standard unit of weight is kilogram, which is represented with the letters small letter k and g. And how do you measure capacity? You may use milliliter, liter and the standard unit is liter which is represented with capital letter L. These standard units have been defined and regulated according to the various scientific and commercial purposes. So in this chapter we are going to learn about these measurements and the different units of measurements. So all of you please take your maths textbook and turn to page number 127. There is a let's recall page given there and a few questions are given there. 
Let's go through these questions. The first one, take the appropriate unit for each of the following. You can see some figures given there. The first one is a school bag. And how would you say the weight of a bag? Can you guess, would it be 650 gram or would it be 650 kilogram? It would be 650 gram, the first one, right? In the second figure, you can see a packet of milk. And would it be one liter or one milliliter? One milliliter would be like a very small quantity. So it would be one liter. Now, in the third question, you can see the picture of a ruler. Would it be 15 centimeter or 15 meter? Can you please check your ruler? Do you see the measurement given there? It would be 15 centimeter. Now the last one, you can see a bucket. Would it be a 5 liter bucket or would it be a 5 milliliter bucket? A 5 milliliter would be something like a small teaspoon. So the capacity of the bucket would be 5 liter. Clear? Let's move on to the next question. What unit will you use to measure the following? Length of a pin. What unit would you use? Would you use a meter or would you use a centimeter or millimeter? You may use the unit such as millimeter or centimeter. Now the second one, weight of a book. How would you measure the weight of a book? Would you measure in terms of kilograms or would you measure in terms of grams? A book may be a few grams in weight. So you would use gram to measure the weight of a book. See, height of a girl. You might have measured your height at different times. And how would you take the measurement of your height? You would use centimeters, inches, or even meters. Now, a fourth one, capacity of a bucket. How would you say the capacity of a bucket? You would use liters to represent the capacity of a bucket, right? Now the third one, the height of one building is 26 meter, 52 centimeter, and the height of another building is 32 meter, 15 centimeter. Find the difference between the heights of the buildings. So what is given in the question? The heights of two different buildings are given, and you're asked to find out the difference between the heights of these buildings. So you have already learned how to add or subtract measurements in your lower classes. How would you do it? You have to arrange the given measurements in proper columns of units and then do the addition or subtraction. So here in this question, what are the measurement of heights given? 26 meter, 52 centimeter and 32 meter, 15 centimeter. To find the difference, you have to write the bigger measurement first or at the top. So let's write the given measurements in proper columns of units. Here, the bigger measurement is 32 meter, 15 centimeter. So let's write that one first. 32 meter, 15 centimeter. Now, the next one is 26 meter and 52 centimeter. So right now, we have written the given measurements in proper column of units. Let's do the subtraction. 5 minus 2. What is 5 minus 2? It is 3. Now, 1 minus 5. We cannot do that, so let's borrow. So here it becomes 1 and here it becomes 11. So right now it is 11 minus 5. That is 6. So that is 63 centimeter. Then, here you have 1 minus 6, which we cannot do. So let's borrow again. So here it is 2 and here it is 11. So it is 11 minus 6 again. So it is 5. 2 minus 2 is 0. So that is 5 meter 63 centimeter. So what is the difference in height of the buildings? It is equal to 5 meter 63 centimeter. Now let's see the next one, question number 4. The weight of a basket full of mangoes is 5 kilogram, 250 gram. If the weight of the empty basket is 326 gram, then find the weight of the mangoes. So what you are given in the question? You are given the weight of a basket with mangoes in it. 
and what is it it is 5 kilogram 250 gram in weight and what is the weight of the empty basket it is just 326 gram you have to find out what is the weight of the mangoes alone without the basket so how would you find it the basket plus mangoes is equal to 5 kilogram 250 gram and just the basket is 326 gram so if you take the difference you'll get the weight of the mango right so first step is to write the given measurements in proper columns of units so we have written 5 kilogram 250 gram minus 0 kilogram because the basket is only weighing a few grams so there is no kilogram so in place of kilogram we have put 0 kilogram then 326 gram right now we can do the subtraction easily so here 0 minus 6 we cannot do that so let's borrow this becomes 4 this becomes 10 10 minus 6 is equal to 4 now it's 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 now 2 minus 3 we cannot do again we borrow now this becomes 12 what is 12 minus 3 it is 9 and here it becomes 4 minus 0 which is equal to 4 so this is 4 kilogram and 924 gram so what, so what is the weight of the mangoes alone the mangoes alone weigh 4 kilogram 924 gram let's see the next question it is 294 liter 436 milliliter of water is there in an overhead tank if 149 liter 594 milliliter of water is added to it then find the total quantity of water in the tank so there, there is this tank which has already 294 liter 436 milliliter of water in it so, so you are adding some more water to it and how much it is 149 liter 594 milliliter of water is again added to this tank and now you have to find out what is the total quantity of water in the tank how would you find it you just have to add the two measurements right so first write the given measurements in proper columns of units now let's do the addition now 6 plus 4 this 10 I carry over 1 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 1 it is 30 then I carry over 1 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 1 it is 10 0 here and 1 carried over to the next place so this is the milliliter part now here 9 plus 9 18 plus 1 19 I carry over 1 here 4 plus 4 8 plus 1 it is 9 then here it is 2 plus 1 3 so that is how much 399 liter and 30 milliliter so the tank now contains 399 liters and 30 milliliter of water so this is clear to you i guess now the sixth question you have to convert the following the first question question a 54,973 meter to kilometer and meter. So you are given a measurement in meters. You have to find out the equivalent measurement in kilometers and meter. The second question is to convert 59,342 gram to kilogram and gram. And the last question is to convert 94 liter 496 milliliter into milliliter. So before doing the conversions, let's revise this. We know we have already learned 1000 meter is equal to 1 kilometer. What is 2000 meter? 2000 meter would be equal to 2 into 1 kilometer. Right? Or it is equal to 2 kilometers. And what if it is 3000 meter? It would be 3 kilometers. If it is 25,000 meter, it would be 25 kilometers, right? Similarly, we know 1000 milligrams is equal to 1 kilogram. So what if it is 13,000 milligram? It would be 13 kilogram. 
and 1000 milliliter is equal to 1 liter. So 25,000 milliliter would be equal to 25 into 1 liter or 25 liter. Now you keep this in mind. Now let's see the first conversion. The first question is to convert 54,973 meter to its equivalent kilometers and meter. We have already learned 1000 meter is equal to 1 kilometer. And look at this measurement given here. 54,973 meter is a little more than 54,000, right? So we can split this as 54,973 meter is equal to 54,000 meter plus 973 meter which is the same now what is 54,000 meter it is 54 into 1000 meter plus this 973 meter and what is this 1000 meter 1000 meter is equal to 1 kilometer so let's replace this 1000 meter with 1 kilometer and that is equal to 54 into 1 kilometer plus 973 meter and that is 54 into 1 equals 54 kilometer plus 973 meter and that is equal to 54 kilometer 973 meter which is the equivalent of 54,973 meters. Is this clear to you? Let's see the next question. 59,342 grams to kilograms and grams. So 59,342 is a little more than 59,000. So let's split that measurement as 54,000 grams plus 342 grams. So what is 54,000 grams? It is equal to 54 into 1,000 grams plus 342 grams. And this 1,000 gram equals to 1 kilogram. So let's rewrite this as 54 into 1 kilogram plus 342 gram and that is equal to 54 kilogram plus 342 gram which is 54 kilograms 342 grams and that is the equivalent of the total of 59,342 grams. Clear? Now the third question 94 liters 496 milliliter to milliliters. Now we have already learned 1000 milliliter is equal to 1 liter. So we can rewrite 1000 milliliter as 1 liter. Now the given question is 94 liters 496 milliliters to its equivalent measurement in milliliters. So we can rewrite this 94 liter in terms of milliliters. How? 94 liters is equal to 94 into 1000 milliliter. That is equal to 94,000 milliliters. Now the question 496 milliliter is also given. So this would be equal to 94 liter 496 milliliter will be equal to 94,000 milliliter plus 496 milliliter which is equal to 94,496 milliliter in total. So I hope all these are clear to you. Now as a homework, you have to go through the Let's Recall page and also in page number 128, you can see a heading maths around us. Please go through that as well and do accordingly. So that's all for today children. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.